hello guys welcome back to our tutorial series um in this lecture we're going to look at form in html and um, basically these are the form controls we will be looking at we're going to look at text inputs um, check boxes radio buttons select boxes file select or file upload and the button controls okay so let's get right into it All right, so we're back um, on our code editor and let's basically just do some housekeeping here and make things a little bit clean. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to put a horizontal line and I'm going to put in some space. Next, I'm going to put in a comment and it's going to be forms. Okay. All right. So, um basically to create a form in html we use the form tag okay so our brackets and form and then we close the brackets so this is the tag we use when we create um, forms in html okay and basically we need forms to be able to um, process to get um, information or data from the user and send it to a database where it is stored okay so um so the first we're going to talk about in our form is the text input okay so basically i'm going to put everything in a paragraph okay and input all right so um my code editor already um, gave me a suggestion that the um, input type will be text okay so basically what this means is that um okay I don't think there's a need for me to tell you what it means I can show you what it means so I'm going to save it and I'll refresh the page or before then I would say username and colon and I'll save it all right let me refresh the page and show you how it displays so right here we have the username and there is an input here okay so that's the first text input okay. now let's look at other attributes that we can have in our input um in our text input the first is value okay and i'm going to set the value to username okay and save now let's refresh okay so basically the username the the, the word username appears on the form and i can delete it and choose a username but um, this is not very nice uh, because I mean it's a lot of work for the user to select then delete then impute so basically we we use the word placeholder we use the attribute placeholder okay so if I say placeholder and I say username and save I'm gonna refresh the page now and basically there is a blurred um, username and i click on it and immediately i start typing it disappears okay so immediately i start typing again it disappears so um, that's the placeholder attribute we get to use on our form okay so let me space this thing out just a little bit all right so i'll go to the next um form control so i'll put a paragraph so that it appears on a, a different line and i'm going to call this one log remember me okay so i'll say remember me like what we see when we log in to a website and there is a checkbox that you know says remember me and we can check it if we want um, our username and password to be remembered okay so basically i'm going to say another input okay and the type would be check box okay and i'll save it and refresh the page okay so we see um remember me okay now if i want this remember me to be automatically checked basically what i just do is i'll just give a space and say checked that's all I'll save it 
and refresh the page and as you can see it's automatically checked okay um one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show us how to you insert a password field okay so i'll say i'll create a paragraph and within the paragraph i'll say password okay and then i'll create an input okay so the input tag or the type this time is going to be password all right i'm going to save it and refresh the page as you can see there is username and there's password now if i type the password because i gave it a type of password it's going to show dots okay so that's it all right now the next um form control we're going to look at is the radio button okay so i'll create another paragraph and i'll say age All right, I, I, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't do it like this. Um, I would say okay. So I'll say age, and right here I would say input, and this time it's going to be radio. Okay. I'll create another input and radio as well okay. but this time i would say for this one i'll give it a value of um 18 plus and in the second option i'll give it a value of under 18 so under 18 just leave it as one well. all right um i'm going to add a line break so i'll say dr so i'll add a line break from here let me save it and see what it looks like okay so um i'll add a line break here too so dr save oh sorry i'll say dr and tab all right so let me refresh the page good so we have age um okay um the options are not showing for the age so basically what i should have done is i should have said on the 18 okay and Okay, this should be above 18 and this should be uh, 18 okay so i'm going to save and refresh the page all right so we have age and then below it is just above 18 and under 18. now i can select actually select the two of them but what i want is to be able to select just one and if i click on the other i want the first to be deselected so to achieve that um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to give them i'm going to give them a name okay, so i would say name is equal to age okay right um i'm, I'm going to give the second um radio button the same name or to age so age all right i'm going to save it and refresh now giving it both of them the same name um, simply tells this form that only one of these can be selected at time so if i click on above 18 when i click on under 18 above 18 gets deselected so watch it all right yeah so you see this okay so this is about radio button okay um so let's go to the next one which is 
drop down or selectable drop down all right so to um, have a selectable drop down basically i'm going to <clears throat> use the select tag okay i don't want to give it a name or an id so i'm just going to leave that so now within this select tag we get to have options right so we use the tag option okay and yeah okay so i don't want to give it a value yet i'm just going to say um i'm just going to say okay let's assume i'm talking about food so i'm going to say rice or no code i'll say html and oh what am i doing so html i'll just copy this to see and paste it paste it i'll say here i'll say css and here i'll say javascript so let's just go with javascript okay and then i'll save okay but anyway uh before we have this select button we need to have um like a label for the um, select options okay so um so basically to have like a label um you just need to add a paragraph tag so i'm just gonna add a paragraph tag somewhere here so i'll say p and tab to create a closing and opening paragraph tag i'm gonna cut this and wrap it around our select tag so let's tab this up nicely okay so basically this is what i want to achieve and i've done it and i'm going to say um coding language coding coding i'm just going to say coding language okay so let me save this and refresh my page and see what happens all right so we have another option here coding language and then there's html there's css and then there's javascript okay um so first the first option is html what if i want the first option to be cs css basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the opening tag of the css and i'm going to say set it as selected so selected i'm saving it and let's refresh the page so you see the first option is css okay so that's how you achieve that um the next form control we'll be talking about is um how to set a text area okay okay so to set a text area um i'm, I'm going to create another paragraph to have it on another line and i'm going to see i'm going to use the tag text area okay so let's tab it up um i don't want to set all of these options all of these attributes now so i'm just going to um okay, let me let me let me make this wide enough so that we can see everything so text area has a closing and an opening tag okay i don't want to set the id so i'll remove the id uh, i don't need the name also so basically what we see here is um the number of rows and columns that has been automatically set okay so but for now um i'm just going to go with setting it using that style which we're already familiar with so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to say style which is equal to and i'll set the width okay i'll set the width to um 800 pixels I'll set the width to 200 pixels and I'm going to set the height. I'm only doing this actually because we are familiar with using the style um, attribute here. Okay, so I don't want to introduce um, the column aspect and the rows aspect yet. I just want us to stick to what we already uh, learned in the previous lecture, okay, which is using style. Okay, so I'm going to set the height to 100 pixels. 200 px and 200 px all right now what do i want to be in the text area so i'm going to say for the text area the message i want I, i'm going to say 
um, fill out or write your message. To write your message, all right. And I'm going to save this. So I'll refresh the browser, and as you can see, we have our text area fully displayed. Okay. Um. So um, the last or the next um form elements we're going to look at is our um. Let's see. I think we have two paragraphs here. We don't need this. I guess we don't. Need this. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at our image upload or file upload. Okay. So let's let's create another paragraph. And in this paragraph, we're going to create an input. Or we're going to say upload image okay and we'll create an input that is going to have a type of file okay and let's just save it so we've saved it and let's go to our browser and see so i'm just going to pop up our browser and refresh and as you can see we have image upload and choose file and then it redirects to our computer so i've not chosen any file so it says no file chosen okay so um i think the last thing we need to do is to create a button so again i'll create a paragraph tag to put it on a new line and i would say i want to create a button so i'll use a button tag okay so this is a button tag and i would say here i'll say click submit i'll just say submit Okay. Submit and I'll just say this button has a type of button and then I'll save. So let's go to the browser and see what we've done. So I'll refresh the browser and as you can see, we have our submit button. Now, um, of course, there are other form elements we that are available, but these are the basic ones that we normally see and use so um if i click submit essentially our form doesn't do anything because we've not wired it up you know to a database and but we're going to learn that in other series particularly php okay so um if you're not subscribed to this channel you should subscribe right away because there's so much for us to learn all right so um, thank you for watching this tutorial see you in the next one